I'm Nick Wood. I'm a freelance photographer. I also run Unshaken Photography Training. Today I'd like to share with you some great tips and advice on how to produce some stunning photographs. We're now going to talk about how to create a fashion shoot. There are five key considerations when planning the shoot itself. They are the location, the type of lighting that you want to employ, the style of the makeup, the models that you decide to use, and also how they're going to be posing on the day. Location. The selection of where you're actually going to undertake the shoot is going to have a very dramatic impact on the way that the finished photographs look and feel. You can take a shoot indoors, should you have a studio to hand. Alternatively, there is increasing demand for on-location shots out and about. And in many ways, it is actually easier to undertake a shoot out on location than it is in the studio. Personally, I find that many models are able to relate to the location so much better and you end up with a better result. It is essential when choosing a location that there's no distracting backgrounds. If you're working in a studio, this is often easy to manage. Out on location, you can't always plan for those elements that may creep into your photograph when you least expect it. Lighting. The choice of the lighting style itself will determine how edgy your finished images are going to look. You may decide that you want a very soft feel to the images. Alternatively, you like that hard, edgy, high contrast feel to the images. Although a word of advice, don't make them too contrasty and edgy if they're going to take away from the finished products themselves. Makeup. Don't underestimate the value of makeup being continuously applied throughout the duration of the shoot. Certainly during the middle of summer, you may find that some of the models may start to get a little bit hot and sticky, and you start getting some nasty reflections coming on your photographs. A makeup artist to hand at all times is a very useful asset on any shoot. The choice of the makeup itself also needs to be considered that it's going to complement the look and feel that you're trying to achieve. Models. You need to give some serious consideration to your choice of models during the day. Models are actually very readily available now. They don't have to be costly and expensive. There are a number of social media sites available on the web that you can go to where you have models, both professional and amateur, that would be keen to help you out on any shoot. Give due consideration that the models and their very own specific look ties in again with the overall look and feel that you're trying to achieve on the day. Models are available for a whole range of budgets. As I said, there's amateur models available through to professionals that may well want to charge anything up to 40, 60, 80 pounds an hour. Posing. If you work with professional models, they're probably gonna have a good range of poses that they actually like to strike themselves. Professional models will know how to stand and really to show off the items that you're hoping to use. Sometimes it's worth paying a little bit extra to use professional models than it is to tie in some of your family and friends that although cheaper, may not yield the best results. If you decide to go down the route of using family, friends, or inexperienced models, then just here's a couple of points that may well help you out to start with. It really works well if the model's facing directly towards the camera, body, full frontal. Get your models just to turn a little bit to one side or another, and you'll find that you start to animate the images and the pictures come to life that little bit more. It also helps that the models will then start to look a little bit thinner, which often works well in these types of shoots as well. By getting the model also to move their front foot forwards towards the camera, it also elongates the legs as well which is often a great result when you're trying to take fashion style photographs. In summary, when undertaking a fashion photography shoot, there are five key elements that you need to consider. The choice of location, the style of lighting you're going to employ, the type of makeup that you're going to be applying during the day continuously. The choice of your models is gonna be absolutely fundamental as is the way they pose during the day. My other advice to you would be, have fun during the day, enjoy it with a digital camera. You now get the benefit of taking numerous, multiple shots. It isn't going to increase the cost for you, and you never know, you may just catch a couple of real gems. And that's how to undertake a fashion photography shoot.